U.S. veteran died Holly Davidson motorcycles crossed the St. Vincent Thomas Bridge from Long Beach to San Pedro to officially start the first ever celebration at the Port of Los Angeles. Mayor Villagrosa, he decided that after scenes across the country, different uh, cities that had been putting something on for, for veterans, the city of Los Angeles had never done anything. So he got his, uh, his this team together of, uh, uh, of managers and decided to contact veterans organizations throughout the city and say, listen, can we come together and put together an annual thing for veterans? And so we responded. Mayor Antonio Villalagosa led the ceremony in appreciation of the veterans. Parades are nice, but we've marched a lot in our careers. It would be nice not to have another march. It would be nice to have a celebration. A place where we could come with our families, the families that are so very important to us, whose love sustains us when we're in harm's way, and relax and just have fun. <laughs> Also, various music groups like the Swing of Things Jazz Band that entertained people as they enjoyed the festivities. And there were also groups set up at different venues to assist veterans, such as one music therapy group called Rock for Vets. Come on, pretty baby, won't you walk with me? Come on, pretty baby, won't you talk with me? Come on, pretty baby, give me one more chance. Try to save our romance, slow down. Baby, I ain't moving way too fast. And youth groups like JRETC, an after school group geared toward keeping kids off the street and teaching them discipline and responsibility without concern of becoming officers. We're not trying to teach them how to be officers, even though we do have an officer structure in our program, but we're really teaching kids to do their listen, because you have, you have to have workers, worker, that worker bee mentality. So we're teaching our cadets how to be better worker bees. The reserve program, officer training program, is great for the schools, that's what they do. But everyone in the school cannot be an ROTC for whatever reason, nor do they want to because of the peer pressure. You know, that old thing, rusty old tin cans. Um, even though our product of ROTC, I got teased a lot. Oh, you're going to go to war, you're a war. A lot of kids can't handle that peer pressure. But it, being that we're an after-school program, they don't have that pressure because their friends at school don't know. Finally, there was a memorial where people could write names and messages to memorialize veterans or current military families. This is a chance for me to bring my kids out and be proud of their daddy a veteran. It's nice to see this. Let the veterans, young and old, know that they ain't, they've not been forgotten. I can't wait to tour the ship. I know I might sound really like greedy, but the food. <laughs> we took the food. <laughs> Veterans had the opportunity to spend the day with their families at the Port of Los Angeles, enjoying great music, free food, and an opportunity to board the USS Iowa. I'm Julie Marie of Los Angeles. <laughs>